at Victory Field. Gates open at 530. First pitch is just a little after 7 o'clock. You can also watch it on our sister station, Miami TV 23. All season long, we've been sending News H Joe Melillo <laughs> to Victory Field to let him work there. Today, it's a chance to send him to the concession stand. All right, we're at Victory Field in Indianapolis, and the game, it's about to start. We're about an hour and a half away from the start, and it's a little wet outside, so, you know, people aren't really sure if that's going to go on, but what does go on, no matter what, is places like the concessions. They're getting ready for customers, whether the game starts or not, and we're going to meet a few people behind the scenes. Right behind home plate, there's a concession worker who's been here since 1996. That's when Victory Field opened, and her name is Ada. Good morning. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. Oh, sure. Listen, so people know you. What do you do to make it fun for the fans that sit kind of in these sections right here? Well, I'm their dipping dot queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, you, I'm the dipping dot queen. And a lot of them call me Miss Dot or Hey Dot. That's it. To the that, Ada, it's it, Dot. It, that's great. Well, it's a three three letter thing going yeah. on. That's great. Ada and then DOT. Yeah. Why do you come to Victory Field every year? Why do you like working these these games? It's fun, and you meet all type of people, all kinds, and, and they're just most of them are so nice and friendly, and they come back like, remember me? Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and I've got certain little kids that come up every like every game. Yeah. You know, they run the not whole kids, yeah. and they'll come like. I've only got three dollars in his four fifty. I told us, all right, just give me the three dollars. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it makes me feel good, even though it's supposed to be four fifty, but sure. they're short. Yeah, Boy, well, that's our super kids. nice. That's of our you. future. Well, I'll tell you what. You can you teach me a little bit about how to serve Dippin' Dots correctly? Mm -hmm. You think you I can? I sure can. Okay. It's really very simple. All right. Well, we're gonna do that. You take you you. We'll do it together, and you just keep holding my hand throughout the process. All right. We'll do. It. We'll all right. do. All right. All right. Let's check it out. <laughs> this is the good stuff. What flavor would you like? Rainbow. Rainbow? I told you. You are right. I told my kids like rainbow. Here you go, buddy. And the spoon is in the top, baby. It's four fifty. Yeah. Uh, Twenty. Great. None for you, Ma. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that changes. There you go, there you go. All right, we got customers. We got customers. I wonder if he kept the tips. <laughs> you know he did. <laughs> <laughs> also at Victory Field last night, Indianapolis Indians fan who's pushing for a one-day contract at least got a jersey, some time in the dugout, and got to deliver the lineup card. Garrett Heisinga is still trying to drum up the 26,000 retweets the team says he needs to get an actual one-day deal. Indians are, though, clearly embracing the effort with their own retweets and this invitation to visit. The pictures are for the Indians' Twitter account right now. Heisinga still needs more than 8,000 retweets to get that contract, but he's already gotten the memories. I so. love it. Yes, exactly. Same effect either way. Uh, 742 right now. Right.